One of the greatest departments of any church is the department of Sunday schools. It is one of the main vessels that flows through the heart of a church. Christian education is very vital. I have a challenge to every teacher of Sunday school, to every superintendent, and even every student of the Sunday school. Here's my challenge. Number one, there are 168 hours in a week. There are seven days in a week and 24 hours in a day. My question to you, number one, is how much effort, how often, how much time do you use in preparing your lesson prior to Saturday or Sunday? Before you reach your classroom, how much have you invested not only in the lesson, but in the student and in yourself? Because when you invest in the lesson, you're actually investing in the student because what you teach is what they live because what you teach is what they receive. What they receive is how they live based on what you teach. Here's my challenge. I challenge every teacher, Sunday school superintendent and student to take one hour a day to study your lesson. One hour beginning Sunday evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning. One hour, which means by the time Sunday school starts, if you're having worship on a Sunday, you will have had a minimum of eight hours under your belt, as we call it, or eight hours invested in the lesson, in yourself, in your ministry, and in that child. I'm reminded of the president and superintendent of the Sunday School of the Church of God in Christ, Dr. Mark Ellis, who says, this is the year of the teacher. This is the year of the classroom. My brothers and sisters, we need to make sure that this is the year of the classroom and the teacher. I need you to understand something else. According to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verses 10, 11, and 12, that teaching is an extension of the ministry of Christ. He fed people, he healed people, he preached, and he taught. So it is an, an extension of his ministry. And lastly, teaching is not just a calling, but it is a gift. He gave gifts among men of which teaching was one. Lastly, the purpose of teaching, the Bible says, for the perfecting of the saints, which means to qualify or equip the saints so that the saints can work the ministry so that the body of Christ can be edified. If you're willing to take that challenge, drop me a comment below and say, I take the challenge. I will study one hour a day until my lesson is. And lastly, I want you to challenge someone else and do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share this challenge. This has been Pastor Rodney Jones. I'm a Sunday school teacher. I accept that challenge and I approve this message.